Hi there folks, today we're checking out the MPAL 059 Lite wireless headphones. Let's do this. Happy New Year's folks and welcome back to Novum Verum. The very first product up for review on Novum Verum is the MPAL 059 Lite wireless headphones. Um, as per usual with MPAL, um, this comes in a red and black uh, box here with <laughs> no factory seal whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I, one quick thing to note. So here printed on the front um, is the model number BH393A. Um, however, there's this sticker on top here, as well as this barcode label that has this number on here, uh, MPBH451AB. Um, not too sure, maybe they're just utilizing the same box for other regions or whatnot or a different product altogether. Anywho, thought I'd point that out, but uh, let's crack her open. Well, that's disappointing. Um, every single electronic device that I've tested out from MPAL was packaged a lot better than this. Here we just have the products tossed in. Um, usually, at least with the Bluetooth devices, there was like another box or a foam surround or something. But this is, yeah, this is just, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> um, anywho, uh, here we have the 3.5 mill uh, aux cable as well as what is a micro USB charging cable. I thought this device was type C being a 2020 product but apparently not. Um, oh. <laughs> All right um, before I get to that in here we have oh, whoa. manual um, this is a reminder card on using a 5 volt adapter to charge this device. Um, here we have a little illustration on how to connect your headphone to your TV. Alright, and the 2 year warranty card. Awesome. So, now I've test out other products that came in this sort of bag. Um, even more recently, the Monster S310 Superstar speaker uh, came in a bag like this. Um, but that one had a sticker on it um, that sealed it like this. Or I've had other products where like it was just completely heat sealed. Um, but this is just open. People at Empower just slacking. Um, oh, whoa, I just noticed something. I don't know if you guys can see here, but there looks to be, and I can't rub that off, and I can feel it. Uh, there is some damage here already, like a dent on the plastic, um, and some markings on here. It's not even like I thought it maybe it was like just like water droplet um, or water stains, but it's not rubbing off whatsoever. And this one you can definitely feel there's an indent. So definitely damaged. Um, huh, anyhow. Uh, there's some good flex to this. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break or snap. More damage over here. Anywho, um, 
yeah so great flex to this but it's very very springy so i definitely wouldn't use this for running or exercising uh, just because this thing will definitely come off um oh on the left ear cup the model number is on here printed bh393a so it is the one that's on that's actually printed on the package not the sticker so that's good to know um, the plastic uh, feels uh, doesn't feel very very premium at all it's definitely cheap plastic better than some but uh, yeah um, no controls on the left ear cup um, but all the inputs and everything else are on the right ear cup so here we have the controls I'm guessing this is a power button here in the middle and a plus and minus um, toggle buttons I'm guessing that's for volume control and navigating through your music um, Seems to be an LED light uh, in between that and the rubber cover for the micro USB port. And here we have uh, the 3 mil jack or 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, and I'm guessing that is the mic port right there. Um, no mic on the left ear cup um, the foam is is eh, soft enough um, definitely not memory foam or protein foam oh that's weird <laughs> the foam on the headband feels like memory foam see how like it holds its shape a little bit longer before popping back up versus these ones pop up right away anyhow I'm gonna get this all charged up connect to my phone and take it for a test drive give me a moment folks be right back thanks all right folks here we have the indoor test <laughs> for the MPAL 059 light, um, which I have on, as you can see. So the audio you should be hearing now is coming from these. Um, once again, I am using Cinema FV5 to record this. Um, so now I'm gonna head out. Um, <laughs> there's some a little bit of freezing rain going on right now i don't know if you can if you'd be able to see me through my windshield um but let's hope uh so i'm gonna set you guys down real quick on the dash and i'm gonna step outside All right, so here I am. Um, I'm about a meter and a half away from the moving bar, um, which is about yeah, three or three and a half meters away from where my camera or my phone is sitting on the dash. Um, I'm going to walk back a little further. I chose this place because it has an outdoor awning so I can um, actually stand here and not get wet. Um, but it is blowing a little so it's kind of uh, getting in my face anyways. But uh, yeah, so this of course only has one mic as I showed in the unboxing. Uh, I'm not too sure what it's going to pick up. Um, it only has a CVC rating of six. Um, so who knows what kind of uh, noise it's picking up. It's rather uh, noisy. There's some, uh, 
there's a major street just right over here, lots of cars, um, even though it's New Year's Day night, um, and everybody should be home. Uh, there's still quite a bit of traffic, which is surprising. Um, but yeah, there we have it, the outdoor test. Um, that's pretty much all I really needed to do. Uh, so I'm going to head home carefully because the roads are kind of nasty right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head home, check the audio, and be back with my postmortem. Thanks, okay, guys. Give me a moment. All right, folks, it's postmortem time for the MPOW 059 Lite wireless headphones. And it's going to be a hard pass uh, for a lot of reasons. Let's start from the beginning. So the packaging, definitely not adequate enough um, because right out of the box, I noticed uh, a dent on the plastic um, and some blemishes all over the place. Um, and I can only assume that that was caused during storage and transportation and everything else getting knocked around. Um, because yeah, like uh, there, it's it's superficial, um, but at the same time, you're 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 purchasing a brand new product. You expect uh, <laughs> a certain level of quality um, out of it, so uh, that was disappointing. Um, the construction and the materials is not the greatest, um, but overall, I think it's adequate. Now sound quality the only thing good about it is the bass uh, the bass was very full very strong exactly what I would love to get from all these uh, different audio products um, and it was great however the mids and the highs whoo not good at <laughs> not good whatsoever um, I tried using my equalizer on my phone um, using the presets as well as trying to do custom settings and manipulating the sliders on my own and I just couldn't get the mids and the highs to sound right um, and that has to do with you know the kind of drivers and the rest of the technology that they have in these it's not good enough um, I think they just focused on the bass, but uh, didn't take into account that, hey, if you're listening to music, you want to be able to enjoy everything from the lyrics and uh, the other instruments. Uh, it's funny because the bass was always good in any setting, but the, the highs and the mids, even when I was manipulating the uh, equalizer, they either sounded extremely muffled or distorted. I just could not get it right. And it reminded me of, initially anyways, of the monster personas that I tried previously. And, um, you know, that with the presets worked great. And then played around with the sliders myself and I got it to work perfectly. They were absolutely amazing. These ones, could not for the life of me get it to where it was adequate where I could at least somewhat enjoy my music um, call quality and the mic on this obviously not the greatest it only has a single mic the CVC rating is only six so it wasn't isolating my voice it wasn't putting my voice in the forefront um, all ambient sound was filtering in um, and not even clearly <laughs> um, but the wind would, you know, uh, completely overpower my voice. Um, you can hear the traffic in the background. Uh, so yeah, sorry, Empow. Uh, you know, it, it's disappointing because whenever you try products of a particular brand, like multiple products of a particular brand, um, you set the bar right uh, with the best product that that you've tested out for me it was the MPOW X3 they're amazing earbuds um, 
but then I tried some other ones and they just weren't wholly great. And then now this one. So I don't know how many Empower products I've tested out over the last couple of months, but uh, I'm starting to lose hope in this brand, um, which is obviously disappointing. But anyhow, you know, they have other products out um, and there's multiple other brands that I'm, I'll be testing out moving forward. But as for these ones, the MPAL 059 Lite wireless headphones, pass on it. Um, I'll still put a link below uh, in the description. Um, these regularly sell for $50 Canadian on Amazon uh, when I purchased it. Um, it was on sale, but there was shipping, um, I think came out to like $39 Canadian. Um, but yeah, I think there was a $15 coupon. So $35. Now <laughs> I just realized the Pritikite S8 that I tested out, um, was $35 Canadian. I'm pretty sure. And those I would say performed better than these. And this is a bigger brand than Pritikite. I've never heard of it. It's the only one that I tested out. I think they have a couple other ones, uh, some more lower end ones, or maybe even some higher end ones. Not too sure. I will be checking up on them uh, soon, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I think the S8s performed much, much better than these. The only thing that sucked about that one was the uh, voice quality. Um, because it was very loud. Uh, yeah. Sorry, MPAL. Sorry, guys. Another disappointing product, unfortunately. Anyhow, I obviously have more reviews coming up. Uh, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.